and we're rolling. Right. So this is a press conference by the Coalition to Defend Affirmative Action, Integration and Immigrant Rights and Fight for Equality by Any Means Necessary, BAM. My name is Yvette Kalarka and BAM is making a call to action to the immigrant rights movement that was born in 2006 to seize on the opportunity of today's immigration reform proposal to win full and equal citizenship rights for this nation's 11 plus million undocumented immigrants. The fact that national comprehensive immigration reform is being proposed reflects the strength of the immigrant rights and civil rights movement, particularly the Latino communities of this nation. It is clear that the massive power of the immigrant rights movement of 2006 and 2007 is strong and we can win real gains for immigrants. We have the power to expand what democracy means in America today. Some of what's incorporated into this proposal, most importantly, a federal level DREAM Act, is a direct result of the continued strength and mobilization of this movement. BAM does not endorse the current bipartisan framework, but the fact that it's being initiated gives the movement a chance and a starting point for a process that can create the kind of immigration reform that's needed to ensure full citizenship rights for all immigrants in this nation. These are some major criticisms and points that BAM is leading the movement and mobilizing mass direct actions to fight for, to win immigrant rights, and to end the second class treatment. One, replace partial probationary status for full citizenship rights for all people who live here, go to school here, work here, and otherwise contribute to this society. Latina, Latino, Black, Asian, Arab, Native American, white, and immigrants with and without papers, we are all Americans. Two, we call to open the borders. We want to give people the same rights that NAFTA provides to the corporations for unrestricted passage across borders. Three, no restrictions to gain citizenship should be placed on young people brought here by their parents. Four, no fines for the millions of people without papers who are here now. No more deportations. And five, a clear and definite timeline should be set for people to gain citizenship instead of indefinite probation that's contained in the current framework that was proposed today. So I'm going to open it up for Tanya Kapner, who's going to speak.